We're getting a first look at the moments leading up to police shooting and killing a man with a gun in Perrysburg Township. Investigators released the body cam video and explained what happened Thursday night. Michael Samlin is live now with what police are saying this afternoon. Michael. Melissa, we've learned that the man shot and killed was one Bo Purdy, a 23 year old out of Toledo who had a previous record of firing a weapon while intoxicated. Township Chief Matt Gazarak says on Thursday night again he was intoxicated and armed and dangerous. Now his department first encountered Purdy when he called them on Thursday night in a 911 call. Chief Gazarak showed us the call and Purdy can be heard shouting that he thinks people are trying to kill him and that he has a weapon. Four officers arrived at the site of the call on Tracy Road and in their body cam video, they can be seen taking cover from the sounds of gunshots as soon as they arrive on scene. Purdy was dug in at the bottom of a ditch and Chief Gazarak says it's unclear if he was just shooting at the officers or also at passing traffic. The township officers worked to control the scene, trying to shut off traffic so no more cars pass by Purdy's location. And finally, Purdy fires at the officers again, and this time one Sergeant Ross Wheatley returns fire with his service rifle, killing Purdy. Chief Gazarak says his small department doesn't normally encounter situations like this one, but his officers showed no signs that they were unprepared. I think they did an outstanding job. Um, presented with what they were presented with at the time, the time of the evening, the, the situation that, that they had, the, the lack of lighting. I think that they all, as you can hear, I'm talking on the, on the body-worn camera, they all remained calm uh, and did and acted in accordance with what they're trained to do. Chief Gazarak says at this time, it's unclear if Purdy was under the influence of alcohol or something stronger. So there's still going to be another six weeks before the toxicology report comes back. Meanwhile, all four officers that were involved in this are currently still on paid administrative leave. Reporting in Perrysburg Township, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.